Stop, stop, stop. Just stop it. Stop selling Facebook ads. All right, hey, Derek to Mike here with Two Guys Build a Biz, and you are in the right place because your guy knows how to light a scene. But in all seriousness, this channel is all about making money online and enabling aspiring entrepreneurs to live out their lives the way they intended it. So if that resonates with you at all, hit the like button, hit subscribe and the bell notifications so you're alerted every single time we post a tutorial like this. So if you're planning to or already pitching Facebook ads to clients, you're going at it completely wrong. We're currently consulting with one of our students at the smmablueprint.com and he's getting anywhere from three to seven meetings per week with realtors. Those are the types of numbers we like to see, but he wasn't closing those meetings. At first, we really weren't sure why, so we said, okay, let's figure out what's going on here. After looking under the hood initially before he joined, he was running off of a script and it felt very robotic. He was saying all the right things, but it just came off completely unnatural. So he took a different approach. He went off the script, kept the conversation more natural, and in his words, was going a lot better, but he still wasn't closing those clients. So at this point, we really needed to dive in and actually hear what he was saying so we could optimize the pitch. He sent over a few examples and this was the overall structure. He would open up the call with some rapport building, some simple questions like, where are you calling from? And have the conversation naturally evolve from there. Almost immediately after the intro, we noticed he went extremely micro right away by talking about the nuts and bolts of Facebook, how they implement these strategies for realtors specifically, and everything to do with the specifics of a Facebook ad campaign. Side note, he was also apologizing just about before every single call. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Sorry about all that confusion. Can you hear me? Yep. Awesome. Sorry about the confusion there. Were you able to find the link just fine or was there any issues with that? Pro tip, record the first 10 to 20 conversations that you have with prospects. Really analyze your tonalities, the idioms, anything that you can eliminate that's distracting from the conversation at hand. It's so, so powerful. This is something David and I did ourselves when we first got on the phone <laughs> and it might sound painful. Initially, it's gonna sound very unnatural. You're gonna think you sound like an idiot. Everybody thinks that. Nobody likes to hear the sound of their own voice, but this is going to step up your game significantly. So after eliminating some of those easy issues, we started to dive into the root of the problem. And the root is we are not here to sell Facebook ads. We are here to sell solutions to problems, period. Let me break this down quickly so it's super, super clear. No one will ever listen to you until they are heard first. You need to understand that their business, their goals, their current situations and problems before you even earn a seat at the table to pitch your business and services. Also, you have no idea what preconceived notions they already have about Facebook ads or Facebook ad agencies. If you open up the call and say, yeah, we're a Facebook ad agency, we run ads, this is how we do it, you have no idea. They may have already tried a Facebook ad agency in the past, had a bad experience, and now you're just fighting an uphill battle the entire conversation. So you're probably thinking, okay, I won't start off the pitch talking about Facebook ads, myself or my agency, so what do I say? You make it about them. You make it about them by asking leading questions to get them talking. If you were to go back and review your conversation and tally up how long you've been talking versus the prospect, it should be somewhere like 70% the prospect, 30%, right about there, 30% you. 70% of the time, the prospect is talking about their business, their goals, their problems, etc. And 30% of the time, you are talking, asking them questions, and speaking to the results that you've driven as an agency. If you're going to talk about your agency at all in that first conversation, the only thing you should be bringing up is the results you've driven that's relevant to their business. If you don't have results to speak of, do yourself a favor, hype yourself up, give yourself any credibility you can, groups that you're in, how much you've learned, studied, trials that you've done, anything that you can hype yourself up as an expert, 
is key here, but do yourself another favor and immediately turn the conversation back to the prospect. You're here with a curious mind. You want to find out more about them, their pain points, their problems, where they're at today and where they want to go. We made these super, super simple changes with our student and within five business days, David got a text saying, hey, I closed my first deal. This is the power of structuring your calls in an effective manner. Now we've learned this stuff over many, many years pitching in multiple different industries. So don't beat yourself up if right out of the gate, you're not the close master 5,000. But use this experience, use this channel, this platform to learn from us and grow. So if you're at a sticking point here or you haven't even left the sidelines, comment down below what issues are you having Utilize this platform to let us help you because that's what this is for. And if you wanna skip the corporate ladder, take control and start working for yourself, head on over to the smmablueprint.com where you can learn how to grow, start and scale your own agency. So that's all for today. Some quick, powerful tips to improve your pitch with some fast and easy adjustments. And if you made it this far, please give the video a like so we know you watched it and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you're notified every single time we post a video about a new tip, a tutorial, or experience with growing a business and being location independent. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. No